the headline of 2022, it's inflation. And it's almost impossible not to see its effects everywhere you look. Headlines are already talking about the $6 gas, $10 tubes of toothpaste, and housing prices increases. Not only that, it's having an inverse effect on our retirement accounts. The S&P 500 is now in bear market territory, and considering the average bear market lasts about nine months, we likely still have a long ways to go. Now, if you're wondering when inflation is gonna end, we have to first understand how it starts. The definition of inflation is a general increase in the prices of goods and the services in an economy. The more demand there is for a particular good or service, the higher the price will go. So it comes down to supply and demand. The more a product or service is available, or when fewer people want a particular product or service, prices generally decrease, kind of like when they put stuff on sale at the supermarket. Let's take oil for example. As we emerge from the pandemic, many of us are traveling again. Whether it's by car, by plane, we're on the move, and that means a higher demand for oil. But prices will continue to rise as long as we're not pumping enough of it out of the ground or importing enough to meet the demand. So for the inflation to to come down or to level off, we need more supply of goods and services to meet the consumer's demand. And until that happens, prices, they're going to stay high. But no matter what, if these high prices are causing a dent in your budget, it doesn't mean that you have to lose hope. Here's 20 ways that you can save money and beat inflation today. So, this summer is around the corner, and many of us are looking to travel once again. When booking travel, the best rates are not the ones you usually get at first. Indeed, these days, one must hunt for the best deals. And here's some ways to beat inflation and travel at the same time. Okay, so when and where you go will ultimately impact your travel spending. So you need to be flexible about your destination and your travel dates to save money. Choose a destination experiencing its off-peak season to enjoy hotel, airfare, and entertainment deals. Traveling midweek will also offer deeper discounts on flights and accommodation. Set airfare and hotel price alerts using sites like Hopper and Trivago, and then take a holiday where you find the deals. Okay, so airfare and hotels will account for a significant portion of your overall travel budget. But even those daily activities and the entertainment can add up. Save yourself some serious money by picking a destination that offers plenty of free things to do. For instance, the beach will help kids, and me, happy for hours, while a mountain getaway gives you plenty of options to play outdoors, including hiking, bike riding, fishing, stargazing, and so much more. Also, feel free to check out free things to do in that particular city. For example, let's say you're going to take a trip to Italy. Well, here's a video that you can see some free things to do that you can do in Rome. Alright, so next, you don't have to dish out hundreds of dollars on a hotel or a home rental. A little creativity can go a long way to help you save money on accommodation. For instance, you can get a free or deeply discounted overnight stay by swapping homes on sites like homeexchange.com or renting a room rather than the whole house through a site like VRBO or Airbnb. And last, Consider taking a cruise. Now, cruising may not seem like a way to save money, but companies like Carnival 
well, they promote all-inclusive travel with full of parties and tons of things to do. For example, a family of two can travel pretty much anywhere in the world, and the cruise rate includes the food, and sometimes the drinks, the Wi-Fi, and even the excursions. And these days, you can find cruise deals starting for just around $35 or $40 per person per night. It's an unbelievable deal, and by the way, it's also my favorite way to travel. All right, so even if you're not struggling to afford your bills, families can beat inflation by simply saving money on groceries. Doing so can free up some extra cash to put towards other things like savings or investments. So here's a few tips on how you can save money on groceries. So it might seem obvious that to save money, you'll need to pay attention to the grocery prices when you're out shopping. But did you know that paying attention to how you shop can also result in significant savings? One study shows that shoppers who used self-checkout spend significantly less money on impulse buys than those who use the staffed lane. Another way to ditch impulse grocery buys is to use a handbasket rather than a cart. This way, you don't have as much space to toss in any of the other things rather than the necessities by doing this. Store brands have come a long way in the last decade, so you don't have to worry about sacrificing taste and quality to save money. And you're looking at spending around 30% less money on the store brand. Also, many grocery stores and big box retailers are also more likely to offer deals and coupons on their own food brands, so there's even more opportunity to save. Shoppers will also often find fresh foods at up to a 70% discount when they're nearing their expiration. These include meat, cheese, and dairy. So ask your store manager where you can find these options and freeze what you don't plan to use every day. You're likely to save money and time by making a list of what you need before heading to the store. This will help you avoid buying things that you don't need and also ensure that you have everything on hand that you need for your recipes. If possible, try to shop once a week to limit the number of times that you're exposed to those tempting items. Saving money on restaurant meals is important for a number of reasons. For one, eating out is becoming, well, increasingly more expensive as inflation continues to rise. Also, when you eat out, you're not only paying for the food itself, but also for the service and oftentimes for the ambiance of the restaurant. Here are some ways that you can beat inflation by saving money on restaurant meals and takeout. Before heading out to eat, consider picking up a discount restaurant gift card. You can snag significant savings when buying bulk packs of gift cards from warehouse stores. For example, you can get $35 off two $50 gift cards from Macaroni Grill. So that's $65 for $100 of value. You can also get two $50 gift cards at California Pizza Kitchen for just $70, and both are available at Costco. Now, if you don't have a Costco membership, just ask your friends or family. Otherwise, you can check out sites like restaurant.com for dining deals, as this site posts discounted certificates for restaurants based on zip code.
All right, so happy hour isn't just for drinks. Many bars and restaurants also offer deals on appetizers and select menu items, so this is a good time to dine out to save. Otherwise, look for early bird or late night dining deals, as restaurants may discount meals when crowds die down. Meanwhile, families can save by searching for dining spots that offer free kids meals on certain days of the week. You can also download Yelp and tap on the Deals tab to look for dining and takeout specials nearby. All right, so take the sting out of rising restaurant prices by using cashback tools to save money. Sites like Coupon Cabin offer cashback for food delivery services, like $2.50 back at Uber Eats and $10 back at Postmates. Meanwhile, you can earn an extra 4% cashback when you pay for your food and drinks using the Slide app at participating restaurants and coffee shops, including the Cheesecake Factory, Chipotle, Dunkin' Donuts, and so on. In these high inflationary times, it's even more important than ever to save money on gas for your car. Rising prices at the pump can quickly eat into your budget, leaving you with less money to spend on other things. Here's a few ways that you can beat inflation and save on gas to keep more money in your pocket. Alright, so fuel prices can fluctuate daily, making it tricky to determine which gas stations have the best rate. However, you can quickly compare the current prices per gallon using the GasBuddy app. Enter your location or allow the GPS feature to pull up your location and notify where the cheapest gas is in your area or along your route. Pay attention to where you shop for groceries, as some offer fuel reward programs that allow you to redeem points for discounts at the pump. For instance, Kroger's loyalty program provides one fuel point for every dollar spent on groceries, which consumers can redeem for discounts at Kroger gas stations as well as participating Shell stations. Other grocery stores offer similar programs, so don't let those rewards go to waste. And cash is king when paying for gas, as card paying customers can expect to spend 10 to 15 cents more a gallon when swiping plastic. If you don't typically carry dollar bills on hand, look for a gas rebate card to earn more cashback on fuel purchases. You can even double up on cashback by uploading pictures of your gas receipts using Fetch Rewards. You'll earn points good towards gift cards to stores like Amazon, Target, or even Walmart, which you can use to offset your future spending needs. Inflation can have a serious impact on your household budget, making it more important than ever to save money on your household bills. Here's a few ways that you can beat inflation by reducing your monthly expenses and keeping more money in your pocket. So you likely shopped around for the best insurance rates when you were buying your car or your home. But did you know that you could be leaving money on the table if you haven't compared rates recently? So run a quick price comparison using insurance comparison sites like thezebra.com to see if you could get comparable coverage for less. Also, consider increasing your deductible and bundling policies as other ways to reduce your premiums. Did you know a recent study found that 90% of mobile users waste money on unnecessary unlimited data plans by using much less than their plans provide?
Take a hard look at your data usage and move to a lower tiered data plan or save by switching to an online only carrier like Mint Mobile, which offers plans for as little as $15 per month. Considering the average American cell phone bill is $70 a month for a single user, that's according to JD Power, that's an extra $660 a year that you can save and put towards other things. Alright, so carrying balances across multiple credit cards make managing debt difficult and more expensive, especially for anyone with a variable rate credit card. As interest rates increase, monthly interest fees will also get more expensive, making it harder to pay down debt. Well, transferring balances to a 0% interest rate card is one option, consolidating multiple balances into one low-rate personal loan takes the stress out of managing several different payment dates and often comes with a lower interest rate. And you can even find debt consolidation loans, even if you have bad credit, just by checking out sites like badcredit.org. Alright, so when it comes to shopping, inflation can have a serious impact on your household budget, making it more important than ever to make smarter choices when you're shopping. Here's three ways to be beat inflation at the mall. If your budget is tight, you may have already started to limit impulse purchases and unnecessary shopping. but when it comes to buying the stuff that you need, think outside the traditional retail shop. Instead, think of joining Buy Nothing groups on Facebook to pr pick up free things, or trade kids clothing on sites like Swoondle Society. Otherwise, look for gently used options online. You can also find secondhand home goods and furniture through local listing sites like Mercari or OfferUp or even Craigslist. Doing so can help you save anywhere from 30 to 70 percent compared to rate regular retail prices. Now, while marketers want you to believe that you need something new for the upcoming or current season, chances are you can wait. And holding off on making the purchase can result in considerable savings. Many consumer goods like clothing, holiday decorations, power tools, and even sporting gear have a season where they're most needed like swimsuits for summer and snowblowers for winter. That's why prices are high when the item is in demand. All comes back to this whole supply and demand thing. And buying towards the end of the season, like after the holidays, well, you might have a lot less selection, but you can score much bigger discounts, like 50 to 70% off. While hunting down coupons and comparing prices are essential to finding the best deal on any purchase, don't forget to track prices even after you buy. Many retailers offer price adjustments for recently made purchases that go on sale for more money off up to a month from the original date of purchase. Even Amazon does this. While monitoring these price changes can be tedious, some tool tools can do the work for you. For example, Edison Mail's price alert feature will notify you when they detect a price drop for recent purchases. Also, they provide tips on how to request money back for stuff that you already bought. This way you never overpay. So, while inflation is something that you can't really change, there's still many ways that you can beat it. What do you think about the 20 ideas that I've presented today on this list? Do you do any of this today? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear more from you and, and of course, respond back. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.